it's finally here. You've made it to winter break. We did it. And I have four secrets that I want to share with you today that will help you actually to recharge over break. Welcome back. I'm Rachel Vincent and I share tips on how to run an effective and efficient classroom. But this video is about taking care of you and not your classroom. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I finally get to break, I just don't even know how to truly relax and truly recharge. And so I try to be intentional about my breaks to make sure that I am taking care of myself and making sure that I am doing the things I want to do, but also that I am making sure I get enough energy to go back after break. The first thing you can do to truly recharge over break is to disconnect from school. Now I know that's easier for some than others. So if you don't have an issue with disconnecting and you are like, girl, I am good, then you've got this first step. Check, you can move on. But for those of us who struggle with disconnecting from school, here are a few things that I would suggest doing. The number one thing is delete your school email from your phone. Delete the messaging apps that you communicate with parents from your phone. Download them the Sunday evening before you go back in January, but get them off your phone now so that A, you're not receiving notifications from those and worrying about that and thinking about that, and B, you're not tempted to check that when you do not need to be you do not need to check your email over break. There is nothing that important that will go to your email. If it is an emergency from your principal, one of your coworkers will text you about it. The second thing is to put down that work laptop. Don't open it. I wish if, if you haven't started your break yet, leave it at school, don't even take it home. But if you have it at home, put it in your school bag and put that school bag in the closet and close the door and don't get it out. Your brain needs space and time away from school. Think about how over summer, how when we have that space away from school, we actually get more creative. We have these, we have ideas and things we want to try in our classroom. And when we don't take that time to disconnect and take a break, we often don't get that. And we go back after the holidays and we're dreading it and we have no ideas and we're not excited. But when you truly give yourself a break from school, your brain is, is allowed to breathe and allowed to be creative and come up with those fun, engaging ideas that you can take back in January. If you caught my video last week, you already know or hopefully already did plan out your week after break so that you don't have to do it over your break. So if that's the case, you're done and you don't have to think about school. And so I would encourage you, if you haven't done that, or if you're not on break yet, do as much as you can planning for that first week back now so that you don't have to do it over your break. But if you're on break and you're like, Rachel, I didn't get it done, I tried to, or I didn't see last week's video, I have to do some sort of work over break because I don't have a work day or that first day back, I have kids. That's me. I totally get it. So then what I would do is allow yourself one day of schoolwork. I would say, now this is just a personal preference, you do you. I would say do it early in your break and get it done out of the way so that you truly can disconnect. Because oftentimes when we wait, we're thinking about it and we're taking up mental space, thinking about having to lesson plan the Sunday before we go back. When you could hopefully just get it done, knocked out, and then you don't have to worry about it the rest of your break. The next way to truly recharge over your break is to make sure you focus on your body, soul, and mind. I don't know about you, but when I get to break, I am exhausted because those weeks from Thanksgiving to break are full of everything. It's like we try to squeeze as much as we can into three weeks. So the number one thing I'm doing over break is I am making sure that I'm resting, physically getting more sleep. I am a night owl, so I tend to stay up late. So I am sleeping in or I am taking naps. 
I am also making sure that I am trying to get in more water. I am trying to get in more exercise, making sure that I'm trying not to eat all the sugary things, even though there's so much this time of the year, but I'm just trying to make sure I take care of my body a little bit better. And I also wanna make sure that I am taking care of my soul, doing things that make me happy, like watching Hallmark movies or reading, or maybe it's crafting or cooking for you. Whatever it is that you don't get to do during the school week because you're too busy or too exhausted, find those things that bring your heart joy that you want to do over break. And then I always like to make sure that I'm also nourishing my mind, whether it's with reading or playing games or doing puzzles or getting my mind to do something creative and exciting that is not necessarily teacher related. The third thing that I like to do to make sure that I am recharging over break is catching up on things that I don't normally get to do. Whether that's catching up with friends and family, going on lunch dates, or maybe it's just even house projects. Maybe I wanna take time to organize a closet or catch up on laundry. Just those things that honestly you just don't always get to now's the time where you have more time off and do some of those things so you'll feel better going back to work in January. And the final piece of advice is just relax. Do the things that you find relaxing, whatever that may be. Maybe that is going for a walk. Maybe that's taking a bubble bath. Maybe that's simply just vegging out on the couch. Whatever you do that you find relaxing, do those things and let go of that list of things you should do over break. I should do this. I should do that. Let go of those and truly take time to recharge. Let your body rest. Let your body relax. Let me know in the comments below what you are planning to do over your break. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe so that you know when new videos are posted. Now, go relax, go be merry, enjoy your break. See you guys later.